Hey guys, what's up? It is Keith and I've got a killer 2007 ESP Eclipse. This is a Les Paul style with the four knobs and the most intense red quilt top we have seen on one of these. Zebra pickups, gorgeous wavy trapezoid inlays, and just a killer all around guitar. If you're new to the channel, click like. Click subscribe. We have a lot of cool guitar news, music business news, and really rad guitars that I get from all around the world to share with you up close so you know exactly what they look like. Latest news, guys. The Dave Mustaine Reverb Collection. Uh, I went and got all the guitars. I think all but one I missed out on. Uh, I was hitting F5 refresh on Reverb. The collection came live at 4 p.m. local time here in the UK, and uh, I got 18 coming to the studio, guys. Massive. But we're here to talk about this guitar. So, we've got that smoked, kind of gunmetal, chrome finish, Godo bridge, and stop tailpiece. On the back, we've got the Japanese Godo tuners. You can see all the case candy. ESP has never had a lot of case candy. It's been very skimpy on the case candy. Um, and that's just because their guitars are generally geared towards the Japanese market. You get a lot of silica gel, like a ridiculous amount of silica gel. gel. Uh, little hang tag. Cool. And a fret protector and some keys. This right here is like the maximum case candy you will ever see on a standard series guitar you may depending on where you're from uh you may also get a letter of authenticity or a coa certificate of authenticity on a signature series or custom shop model these days uh if bought in the american market because the distributor there um adds a little bit of case candy but as this stands this is the most you can get, which is cool. So it's a complete set. Uh, I love the quilt top finishes on these because they're they're big. They're big waves. And the four knob acrylic kind of top hat, which is hat knobs just look awesome. The fretboard on this is crazy clean. The inlays look amazing. Uh, no yellowing or anything. The fretboard, rosewood fretboard, it looks like dark, dark rosewood. Awesome. There's only one cosmetic flaw, one flaw I can find on the guitar, and that is on the back here. You see this beautiful mahogany body, and it looks like it's, it looks like, I'm trying to see if there's any seams here, if it's, if it's more than one piece. The thing looks like it's all one piece. Very hard to tell can't yeah i think the whole body the whole back is one piece of mahogany and got mahogany neck too but back here the the lacquer got busted up a little bit as you can see the clear coat on top of the wood so one boo-boo there the rest of the guitar looks mint guys even on the headstock usually these tips get all chipped up but super, super clean. Luckily, that little boo-boo's on the back. So, um, I think now you've got a really good idea of what these look like up close. We've had loads of eclipses. You can compare them on the, uh, the channel to all the others that we've had. So you can kind of see how it measures up and you can see throughout the years any little evolutions. They have what's called the CTM, the Custom Transition Model, which I believe... I believe any four knob eclipse is technically a CTM. Correct me if I'm wrong, ESP experts, but I believe that's the case. I do not know everything. Um, for full thickness, thickness models, people ask me all the time about that. And my understanding is the full thickness model has binding on the back, that there aren't any FT models that don't have binding on the back. But very, very similar in thickness to a, uh, a regular Les Paul, minus the fact that you have the belly cut there. All right? 
cool guys also it's got the uh, strap locks there well i'll leave it at that i've got a lot of videos to do not enough time a little sneak peek we uh we just got this killer slash set in that guitar just came in and i've got all of these guitars to do a couple of washburn uh time bag guitars We've got, uh, we just did a music video in here. It was awesome. So let me scram, guys. Too much gear, not enough time. But we will be back soon, and I've got a lot of exciting news to share with you guys. We were just in London over the weekend for BBC Introducing Live, and a lot of exciting musicians coming through the studio, too. So stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios. And I will be back very soon, just after this, with more guitar videos. Later, dudes.